Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is how I beat Bodhi Sunwaver with two pets in order to level a third one. Bodhi is a master tamer at the Dalaran Pet Tournament in Legion, and he's available to fight whenever his world quest comes up. Like many Blood Elves, Bodhi appears to be allergic to shirts. In my first slot, I have my Bronze Whelpling with Arcane Slash, Early Advantage, and Liftoff. Unfortunately, I haven't found a good working substitute for a two pet setup, so we are going with this guy. In the second slot, I picked a Stitched Pup, but you really want this Fell Pup here with Diseased Bite, Howl, and Crouch. With my Stitched Pup, I'm running with Consume Corpse instead of Crouch. Either pet will work, the Fell Pup just has a speed advantage. Last, I have a Leveler. It's going to take Cyclone damage, so bring one with at least 800 health just to be safe. Okay, so have your Bronze Whelpling in your top slot and your Safari hat on. And we'll get started. Round one, we are going to use Early Advantage. Uh, the way we use early advantage here is pretty much on cooldown as long as your health total is lower than the enemy health total. After that, you arcane slash once, and then we're going to use liftoff. And that, what that does is liftoff is going to get us right up and out of the way of the explosion of that whirlpool, because there's really no good reason to be eating that. So liftoff on round three, whirlpool explodes safely underneath us, and then liftoff is going to do a good chunk of damage to Itchy because of our type advantage. So there we go. Uh, you'll see early advantage is coming off cooldown, but we're not going to use it because we now have a health advantage over Itchy, so we're going to Arcane Slash to finish him off. Our Dragon and Racial kicked in, so we did plenty of damage to him. Salty Bird comes out. My health total is once again lower, so I'm going to use early advantage now. There we go. So he's going to set the Cyclone. This is why we have a higher level leveling pet. You can get really bad luck and just have him get schmucked five times by Cyclone. There's nothing you can really do to prevent that unless you're running some kind of Sandstorm build, so uh, we're just, we're just going to use a higher level leveling pet. After that early advantage, I'm going to spam Arcane Slash and just do as much damage to Salty Bird as possible. He's doing weak damage to you, so we're in pretty good shape here. Dragon can racial kicks in, which means I should be able to finish him with one more hit. And Salty Bird goes down. Time for Gromit, who is the last pet. Here we go. So time for early advantage again, just because I have much less health than him. He is increasing his critical strike chance, so he can hit you pretty hard, but that's okay. We have lots and lots of uh, wiggle room on this fight. Um, so you can throw up a lift off and then an arcane slash here if you want. The thing you want to be careful of is make sure that you don't kill Gromit with your bronze whelpling. Uh, we could probably solo the fight with his one pet, but we want to get our leveling pet in for a round so he gets experience. So I probably could have fit one more arcane slash in, but I didn't want to crit and accidentally finish the fight too early. So I decided to pass the round and actually let him kill my bronze whelpling uh, to make sure that I have time to switch in my leveling pet and then I finish the fight with my stitched pup or fell pup if you decided to bring that. So after your Whelpling dies, bring out your leveling pet and switch right away to your third pet. Uh, if he has enough health that you feel like you need to, you can go Howl and then Diseased Bite. If you think you can kill him with one Diseased Bite, if the damage is going to be enough, then just go ahead and do that. Either way, we have lots of wiggle room here. We're not really in any danger of losing the fight. And one big Howl Diseased Bite does almost his whole health pool worth of damage, so he's pretty much toast. And that's how I do it. As always, you have more team flexibility if you're three petting it, but for leveling pets, I found this setup to work best. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!